I'm Alicia Asin, the CEO and co-founder of Livellion, which is a company that designs a hardware and software platform for the Internet of Things. We basically connect any kind of sensor using any communication protocol to any cloud system. So in other words, uh, we could say that we are solving the big interoperability problem of different technologies in the, in the IoT, and we have a totally horizontal uh, approach. So we have projects since, uh, from smart agriculture, uh, optimizing the irrigation water to smart cities, uh, monitoring water leakages, air, air quality, water, uh, water quality levels, and, and also applications in the industrial world, so totally horizontal. Basically, I've been sharing what we've learned from working with cities from the past seven years. So all the lessons that we've learned of what happens when you go from lab to reality and all the challenges that you need to overcome. And, and also the, the lessons learned and the, the examples that are working. So for example, now we see that it's no longer the more sensors, the better factor. So cities are, work, are looking for accuracy in the sensors rather than for cheaper sensors to put everywhere or the importance of, uh, of uh, being able to adopt new technologies. Uh, five years ago, we all, we, we all were using SIGVI or Wi-Fi or cellular technologies, and now we have two new players, LoRaWAN and Sigfox, and you need to, to be able to adapt to the new technologies. It's been busy, and we are surprised that it's, um, it's not a big show, but everyone, it's, uh, it's here in, in the area. Everyone who is relevant for the IoT is, is being here. And I think that the location is also a good, uh, a good place because of the, all the importance of Singapore in the, in the Asia Pac region. Like the highest level message I have is that IoT is about measuring and making um, information out of data. And if we apply this to cities, it's not only about reducing the cost, about improving uh, citizens' uh, quality of life. Uh, it's also about making more rational decisions on the governance of the city. So I always say that uh, if we manage to be transparent enough and citizens and governments uh, work well together, the biggest legacy of the IoT will be more democracy.